name is David Licata. I am an Arts Westchester teaching artist. And today I wanted to show you some inspirational little sketch of a dogwood flowering tree. You can just pull up an image on your computer or you can go, I think the, the library still has some pickup books that you can get on flowers and things like that. So I'm gonna take my tape roll and put it on my paper. And I'm gonna take a pencil, number two pencil, whatever you got, and just do a light sketch all the way around to get a nice circle. You know, because I've used a lot of this tape, it's not a perfect circle. It doesn't matter to me. Just giving it a nice a border that I can have, work with. I'm gonna just lightly sketch a couple branches, just what I call a little making Ys, because it's like the letter Y, just, uh, just like that. Now I'm going to add some flowers. Now the dogwood flower you can see here looks like it has four, you know, petals that are, you know, kind of funky looking. They're not perfect shapes. So I'm just kind of gonna go one. It almost looks like a four leaf clover when you're drawing it. Just like that. So I'm just doing this kind of four leaf clover kind of shape or just, or maybe like a almost heart. And I'm gonna do kind of the circle in the middle. If you look at this one, if you wanna go into a more realistic, it's more like almost like an everlasting gobstopper where it's like all these dots and kind of shapes. And this drawing, you can see it's almost more of a bulbous yellow mass in the middle. I'm gonna kind of go in the middle and just do kind of a bunch of U shapes and kind of circle around to create the center of the flower. I'm just trying to go light. I, I could do the opposite too, or I can start with the middle and then I can work around it. We're making the flower petals coming off of it. I can make some bigger, some smaller, Give that makes it the whole picture have a little bit more depth. I can go it, try to make it almost look sideways. Like this to give it more perspective. The idea that it's the, the flowers kind of turn to the side. You know, how much time you have will dictate how many flower petals and flowers you add to your piece. I'm gonna stop there with the pencil and go right to my Sharpie. I'm gonna start with a blue Sharpie and kind of go right around the whole, doing most of the outlining of the entire piece. I'm kind of sketching around the outside of all the flower petals and then also the circle at the same time, as best as I can. You mess up, if you don't like that curve, you can kind of fix it a little. Especially if you're gonna cut this out later, you can always cut it straighter. Excuse me, not straighter, but you know, into a circle. All right, so that is my design there. I'm gonna do the center of the flowers, just kind of doing a little squiggle of yellow. And then I'm gonna take a green and do a little U-shapes, just a little kind of almost like little dots, but little dots per se, but they're almost like little upside down, like the letter C is kind of what I think of. They look like. Then to give it a little bit more, some color. Uh, dogwoods are white, but they're also pink ones. There's you know, all different varieties. Same thing with cherry blossoms. You got white ones, you got pink ones. This is kind of looking like a 
cross between a dogwood and a magnolia. Used to have a great magnolia tree in my backyard that I would climb. And as you see driving through the neighborhoods, they, they bloom very fast and they, they don't last very long. But they're really cool in the springtime. Take a brown Sharpie and I'm gonna start with the tree branches. They can go from thick to thin a little. Don't have to exactly follow the pencil lines that I did. I can make up a couple new one. I'm gonna try to make it look like it goes behind some of these petals. So again, I'm gonna add some Ys where they just kind of branch off like that. Going over this one, because it's a big one. Making it a little bit thicker. I'll go right off the page, well, right out of my frame. Then I'm gonna add some leaves. Doing these almond shaped leaves, kind of spiky, like just curve with a spike to a point, I mean. of them are going to be right underneath the flower petals. Well, underneath the flower. So you don't see the whole leaf, you just see like the tip of it coming out. So it's just like a triangle section coming from right behind the flower. And then finally, I'm going to spend a lot of time coloring this whole thing in. Now with the beauty of editing, I'm gonna see this sped up hopefully. So I'm just tracing everything first with the blue marker, trying to go around everything that I did so I don't kind of give myself like a safety net as I now squig uh, scribble and kind of fill in everything else with blue. Can do lots of different ways to fill in the background. I'm just doing some cross hatching, some squiggling to just kind of get it as best as I can. Okay. Now, final things you can do you can take a pen or a dark pencil and you can do some highlights in black. I'm just to do some of these lines. Do some of the edging around some of these petals. Just a couple little lines to give it some dark color, so maybe a little bit of contrast. You can also do the center lines in some of the leaves. If you have colored pencils, this would work really nice. If you had different color greens, if you're doing this with crayons, I would think you should do this maybe a little larger because it might be hard to get such detail. Um, you know, instead of doing it maybe three inches, try to do it four or five inches big. And I can touch up anything else that you see that you want to add maybe a little bit more details to. Make it look a little bit more like a tree. I'm giving a couple little dots and things on the stems. Maybe making it not look such, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what you call it. Kind of make it a little bit more bulbous. Can also do a little bit with a black Sharpie. Just give it some dark spots. And I'm just basically doing little lines on the stems. And then if you wanted to, you could have, if you had time, you could do a nice, try to do a circle outline. It doesn't have to be out of black. It could be out of any color that you have. 
around the whole piece. You could re you could at the beginning have done this using a black sharpie and started with that or a blue sharpie or whatever you like. If you have a um, one of these bronze metallic sharpies, you could add more details. You could do little highlights in bronze. I'm just doing little kind of just a little bit of bronze just to give it some fun little life to it. And there you have it. That is my flower. <laughs>